Uh, Theory Aparna Saurabh, thank you very much for speaking with CNBC TV 18. Uh, Theory, first talk about the quarter gone by. Revenues have fallen for the fourth consecutive uh, you know, quarter, but in minus 1.7% sequentially, it's actually closer to the upper end of your guidance. So in what way was this quarter better than your expectations? Where did it meet and where did it miss? Rima, I would say that, you know, first of all, we know that the context, uh, the, 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 the market conditions are, haven't changed for the last quarters and they continue to be a little bit of, you know, soft and, you know, driven by uncertainty, especially in some industries, right, like uh, banking, financial services, technology, communications, and so on. In this context, right, over the last quarters, we've indeed, um, you know, seen a significant reduction of the discretionary spend despite the rather strong performance in sales and in particular in large yields. What we have seen throughout Q3 has been a slight gradual improvement of the situation, leading us to end, you know, at the top end of our guidance. Fair enough. So can you talk about consulting? Because in your press release, you're talking about a double-digit increase in the order book for Capco. Uh, so what was the performance of uh, Capco and Rising in the current quarter? And in your guidance for the next quarter, what are you penciling in? Well, okay. So, so, so you're absolutely right. This is, this is interesting to look at, you know, what's going on in the consulting space because... It's an early indicator of slowdown and acceleration. Okay. We have seen that over the years. Typically, this is the area of you know, um, services where reduction in discretionary spend is impacting the overall revenue trajectory. So about you know, a few quarters ago, we were among the first one to call a little bit of a slowdown coming on that front because of the strengths we have in our consulting space, in particular in the banking and financial services, as you know. Um, what we've observed over the last quarters was a continued softness of uh, the performance in bookings, leading to a contraction of the revenue on the Capco side. And we've been you know, reporting on it uh, to you every quarter, what we are seeing this quarter is actually a little bit of a, of a turnaround. A, the perception that, you know, things might be slowly improving. We are being, on purpose, cautiously uh, optimistic about the situation. You know, difficult to make a trend from one single quarter. Let's see how things are going. We are only in January, January and February are typically months where companies finalize their budget of spend in IT or in services for, you know, the calendar year to come. So let's, you know, keep an eye on it. But, you know, what is certainly a data for us to base our uh, cautious optimism on is the performance in bookings of Capco over the last quarter, which indeed has been uh, the strongest of the last three, four quarters. And so I think we take it as a positive sign. Um, talking to some of our clients, talking to the teams, there's also a perception of, you know, pipeline coming back, a little bit of discretionary spend coming back. And so let's see how things are going. But certainly we see green shoots is what I would say. Okay, there are green shoots in discretionary spend coming back, uh, and that's uh, good to know. Aparna, talk about your margin uh, performance this time. Despite a one-month impact of wage hikes, you've managed to pretty much maintain margins at 16%. So the margin breakup, and what's the outlook over the next term? quarter? Yeah, we've done a very good job of uh, keeping our margins nearly flat as Q2 at 16%. Uh, we had one month of wage increase. We also uh, had a headwind of the seasonality of furloughs. Uh, we also had certain one-offs in Q2. So we really had to work up our way through the margins through in the quarter. We've done an incredible job of, 
on three counts. One, we maximized our revenues. We've come at the top end. That has helped. Two, we're making structural improvements in our costs through pyramid improvements, increased productivity in our fixed price projects, through increased automation, AI, and also reducing discretionary spends during the quarter. All of them have added nicely, and that's how we you know, uh, delivered 16%. As I look forward, uh, we're confident to hold this in a narrow band. When do you get to your aspirational range of 17%? Do you see it happening in the next three quarters? You know, I've just talked you through the journey of several improvements that we've been making. Um, a lot of them are actually paying off, and that's why you're seeing our margins being resilient. For it to expand, I think we will just need to wait for the growth to return more consistently. And, uh, you know, theory is already spoken of green shoots. So hopefully that should follow as well, an expansion in margins. Okay, so stable now, and then you're hopeful that <laughs> margins will expand. Uh, Saurabh, <laughs> sorry, excuse me. Attrition has already come down at a decade low for you. Does it fall further from here on? And how much of a lever can falling attrition easing supply side be? for the company in FI25. As in, is this a trend which will continue even in FI25, considering we've already come down to you know, a comfortable range for the industry? So, uh, Rima, you know, if I look at the entire supply chain, you know, attrition, as you write, 10 quarter low right now, but that's also driven by a lot of the demand environment. And this is the first quarter, as we are seeing Green shoots, as theory called out, in some discretionary spend. I'm also seeing certain uptick happening on net new resignations. It's early days. We'll see how it goes. So very clearly, attrition will follow what's happening in the demand, in, uh, demand environment. Uh, today, for us, we lower attrition, headspace to improve utilization, you know, and which we have done over the last few quarters, has helped us utilize our internal talent pool very effectively. And, and that's what we are, you are seeing. But uh, I feel now the attrition as we move forward will be driven by what we're seeing from a macro environment. Fair enough. Uh, Thierry, this is a bit of <laughs> sorry, uncomfortable question. Uh, but has there been any communication from uh, the promoters of the company about the performance of uh, Wipro? Because there were some uh, reports in the quarter gone by where it did appear that the promoters are a bit unhappy with uh, Wipro's lagging performance versus peers. Has there been any communication from the promoters? Prima, I will, I, I will not, certainly not comment what you, what you could read in, 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 a, in a press somewhere. But what I can tell you is certainly I'm communicating constantly with, you know, uh, the promoters and, and with the chairman. And I'm in constant interaction on multiple fronts. And I'm very pleased with the level of our, you know, interaction. That's all I can tell you. And I feel that I'm in an environment that I absolutely need and, and that, you know, to do my job and drive, you know, the, the organization forward. Okay, so there hasn't been any communication expressing uh, displeasure about the performance of Wipro? You know, no, I, I think what, I, you know, when we are constantly interacting, whether it's with the promoters or with the board members or with the executive committee uh, team, you know, we are reflecting on, you know, what's going on, what are, what's working well, what can be improved. I think there is a strong alignment on, you know, in a way what we've done, the achievements we've done, what we still need to continue to do, and, you know, uh, the, the priorities to address over the next quarters, and I think that's, you know, I'm very pleased about this alignment overall. And since it's still a work in progress, if you would be offered another term at Wipro to complete the job, uh, the task that you had taken on, would you be open to doing it? But though you still have a year and a half to go, I understand, but just asking. I think I'm going to have these kind of questions, you know, over the next months uh, until, you know, the end of the term. That's the rule of the game. I love what I'm doing. I'm, you know, I have a great team. 
Uh, we've done a, a fabulous job over the last years and, you know, very positive about what's ahead of us. Is that clear enough? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Thierry, Aparna, and Sarb. All the very best and congratulations on a better showing this quarter. Thank you. Thank you, Rima.